Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. And this is a quick little look at, from the Hasbro Star Wars Retro Collection, this is The Mandalorian. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar, the Retro Collection is Hasbro's re-release of the original Kenner um, Star Wars figures from 1977 up until the mid-1980s. Now, what they're also doing with this release from the Mandalorian TV series is creating the, the characters from the Mandalorian, as in Din Djarin here, uh, Grogu the Child, um, Moth Gideon, Kuri, IG-88, um, Carl Weathers, in this uh, three and three quarter inch, five point of articulation scale. So here we have the Mandalorian. Um, it comes with a uh, new tooling for its rifle, which is, you know, you don't see him using it that much in the series. And don't forget this December, we got a nerf version of that coming, but also a, what appears to be a new sculpt of the Mandalorian's pistol, which is a, uh, very nice, and so the weapon he uses most of the time on the show, at least in the first couple seasons. Um, there is a Nerf version, it's a repaint of another blaster, but I think it's a, like a Target or Disney uh, Galaxies of Adventure exclusive in California. They want 40 bucks for it on eBay, I ain't paying that. But that's there as well. Um, and really, other than that, uh, you have the head, which is, you know, the Mandalorian. I mean, looks like Din Djarin's helmet. Um, again, this is based on the Kenner style, so you don't have the antenna sticking off. There is no ball joint. It just swivels left to right. The arms are on one joint at the shoulder that can rotate forward and back. Uh, instead of a cape or something like that, you get a reuse of the same robe that the Jedi... Uh, Darth Vader have used over time. It's done in a brown. It's like a very thin vinyl. And then coming down to the hips, you just have forward and back hip articulation. Uh, got a little extra of a bit of vinyl right there. Oh, oh, just came off. So yeah, so very limited articulation figure. It is meant to invoke a certain style. That style being... Um, that late 70s through mid 1980s uh, figure design that really, uh, even after the advent of G.I. Joe, a real American hero, for the most part was the industry standard um, for quite a while. Uh, I mean, let's be honest. Uh, you know, He Man was five points of articulation. Yes, it was a larger scale figure, but it was still, you know, five points of articulation. The turtles, five points of articulation. Well, I think they had a little bit of a wrist swivel there, that little extra ninja action. So, you know, Kenner had something going on with these uh, figures that, uh, you know, I guess there was some demand that for those older styles. I mean, hell, Super 7 has a whole line of figures that are taking uh, various properties like He-Man and Turtles and Thundercats and movie properties like Escape from New York, Escape from L.A., and doing them in this five-point of articulation style. Now, if you were interested in getting uh, a Mandalorian for your own, or if you're like me, you wanted Mandalorian and Grogu, and for some reason they're shipping at different times uh, from Amp, uh, they are starting to show up in stores, but I got mine off of Amazon, and right now I think... Uh, Mandalorian is in one of those, you pay for it and they'll ship it when they get it, which might be a couple weeks type of deal, whereas everything else is pre-order sold out and being charged by third-party sellers. Uh, I only went for Mando and Grogu. Uh, I should have gone for Cara Dune, but, you know, that ah, well. But yeah, um, n no weapon storage, really. Uh, I know some people are like, well, who asked for this, and I guess a lot of people did, but they are fun figure. I mean, it's a fun figure, and it's uh, a nice little change-up from the Vintage Collection and the Black Series. 
You know, I mean, let's be honest. I have uh, the vintage collection Mandalorian, and I haven't even touched that yet. But I figured something kitsch like this would be uh, fun to do. So um, that's about it. If you like this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Why the likes, comments, and subscriptions uh, are nice and helpful because they do communicate with YouTube through their algorithms that my channel is uh, should be exalted and held upon high. I will always just appreciate the views if that's really all you want to do. If you really want to make the ultimate sign of support, please consider joining my Patreon. That is www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. little card here in the corner and a link in the description below. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All I ask for is a dollar a month or $12 a year. And what you're doing is helping me help you, help me to help you bring figures like The Mandalorian to you, as well as keeping up the infrastructure of this channel. But as I always say, and I make a point of stressing this, if you cannot do the dollar a month or $12 a year, watching my videos is support enough and is so greatly appreciated. So... This is your old pal Chuck, and I will see you next time.